Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to show you some more colouring books and supplies I've recently bought. Um, I have to blame Jen over at Reading with Pugs, um, Dee Dee at Dee Dee Willingham, as well as uh, Anxiety Art Supplies and Shaleen over at Shaleen Talon because basically they are such good colourists, I've just wanted to do more and more so I've been out spending my money again. Um, I think I've deserved it because I've been up, oh this weekend I've been up at 5 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday and I've done done some overtime at work and I need that to buy all this colouring um, stuff. So, so here's some books I got this week. So this one is Under the Sea, um, Mes, Mes de Moi, uh, colouring for mindfulness. It's published by Hamlin, it's got lovely French flaps which you can colour. You know, it's a bit close, let me just zoom this out. That's better. Um, and there's some really nice pictures to colour in here and they've all got titles. And this was really, really super cheap. This was like £2 in a shop called The Works. This is a UK chain um, across the United Kingdom where you can buy books, art supplies, videos, DVDs, all sorts of things, really, really cheap. I love The Works. I buy lots of books in there. Um, and now obviously I buy lots of colouring books in there because they've always got a lot of really nice ones. So there, I picked up that one for £2 and I bought a copy of that for my best friend and have it as well because she loves colouring too. Who doesn't? Then I picked up the uh, Kaleidoscope colouring book. Again, this was in the sale, three pounds, so you can't go wrong. This is published by Seven Oaks, which is an imprint of Carlton Publishing in the UK. I think they're published by Barron in America. Again, these are really super nice. I've got to keep looking, because it's been left-handed. It's very hard for me to see what's going on on the camera, so just bear with me. And again, these are really, really nice patterns. And there's lots of them. I really like these. And this paper, even though they're double-sided, is really good for markers because it's quite thick paper. And the markers don't bleed through. Because I've used markers in my other ones of these. I've got Fairyland and Butterflies. And that's really nice. And then I was looking on uh, Amazon and I saw that they had a colouring book on Cardiff, which I put in my wish list, but oops, excuse me, knocking the camera there. They also had one for Bristol, which is a city that I was born in. So, and it's just over it's about 30 minutes away from where I am in South Wales. But uh, so I thought, oh, and I really want the Cardiff one, but because I was born in Bristol, I really wanted the Bristolian one. The only thing I would say about this is the pictures are really, really nice, but they are really, really small. I recognise a lot of these places. This is a pub, public house called the Land Dogger Trow. It's one of the oldest pubs in there. And yes, I love that pub. It's one of my favourite pubs in Bristol. So I will be doing that, but they're so tiny. I'm thinking uh, I'm going to get a bit more practice in before I have a go at it, but I'm glad I got it. And then I picked up Angels by Jade Summer. Jade Summer, I love her books because they have the black pages on the background. So if, and if it does seep through, you're not going to get you're not going to see it. But I really love the style of these angels. And what is good about Jade Summers is you get a copy, you get two copies of each picture. So you can do them like in one way and then if you want to try it again another way, you can. So for instance, you could do all really nice angels, really lovely and sweet, and I've bent the back over, but it doesn't matter. Um, sweet and angels, how we expect them to be. And then you could do like some dark angels. You could make them gothic even, you know. And the last book I bought this week, yes, that's right, five books in one week, I know, is The Mythical Mermaids by Selena Fennec. I love Selena Fennec's women. And I just love these mermaids. Again, they're all, they've all got titled pages like Heart Dance and Spell for Sunlight is that one and um, this one is Sunbather and I'm currently working on one in this. This is uh, like a book I'm currently working on if I can find it. I can never find it when I want it. Yeah, I think it's here actually. Yeah. This one is The Sea of Roses and I really like this. As you can see I've spent about two hours just doing the scales so far because they are super nice, super detailed. Let's have a look. Um, 
but I really wanted to make her scales look really, really good. And I've actually realised what I'm basing it on now after looking at that, but that's another story. But I wanted to use different colours on there, and I'm using uh, the Faber Castells Classics, and I'm using the metallics on the fish scales. So I really like this book. So this is, this is what I'm working on for this week. Now, on the supply front, I went into another UK chain, um, which is called Office Outlet. I think it's an American chain. They've just taken over uh, our branches of Staples. And I went in there today and I picked up some oops, neon uh, coloured pencils because they are, so if you have a look at those, some, uh, I don't know if that'll focus in, no focus, that's better. Uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, some some of the pictures in the 1950s colouring book really call out for like uh, neon colours. So I bought those, and these were only cheap. I, th I didn't spend very much in there at all. I think they were about three pounds. And I picked up some sharpies. So these ones all came loose, and they were either I think they were forty pence for the really tiny fine liners, and they were fifty pence for the. See, I'm not very good at this. It's the first time I've done this. The thicker ones. Um, because apparently these are end of range pens. And I thought for 40, 40 pence, 50 pence, you know, you can't go wrong. I also picked up a little bucket to put them in. And I got this from Tesco. Um, and I think it was 4 50 Let me put that out a bit so we can see it better. And it's really pretty. And as you said, I've got some like, markers and stuff in it. And my erasers for the DeWitt eraser, which I really like. I'll just chuck those back in there and put those pencils in. I also picked up, I went, we got a quite a few hobby places in the area, like I said, we've got the works. Um, the range do, um, do went and Faber Castells and other art supplies. Didn't buy anything in there. And office outlet. And then there's some, a place called Hobbycraft. And I bought these acrylic pens. So they're acrylic paint pens. So to try and do some backgrounds, and I thought I won't get paint and paintbrushes. I can use an acrylic paints. I have painted with acrylics before. I quite like the way they look, but I thought I'd get the paint pens to see what they look like. And again, I only spent like seven pound fifty in Hobbycraft, and I bought those. And I also bought these glitter glue pens, and these were four pound fifty for twenty colours. So I thought they're definitely worth having a look at. So I'm actually going to try these now because I wanted to try them to see what they were like. Because my friend Sue wants to know. Excuse me, let's have a drink. I'm drinking mixed fruit cider because you know been working all weekend. I'm allowed, and I'm on late next week. So I thought I would show you the picture I did in Jade Summer's Delicious Desserts. I told you I like Jade Summer. Um, so I've done the first one in here, which is this one. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is open up these colours and I'm actually going to see what they work like. Oh, I don't know. I've not any of them yet. But again, these can go in my little basket because Oh, these are so hard to get open. There we go. And I intend to put some of this on my mermaid as well. Some of the other greeny blues. So I am just going to have a look. I'm going to use this, uh, see which ones I want. So let's have a look at this one first. I'm left handed, so I've got to think things that through properly. So I don't know if these need, no, they should be okay. So I'm just going to. Oh, here's a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's nice. So I'm just going to put a little bit in. Oh, that looks actually quite nice. You have to be careful with these because it will come out quite quickly. But it is quite nice. That's very sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. Can we get any closer and see that? There we go. So, I'm going to use this green one. Let's put some spots of green on here. And I, I do like the way you can see the glue come through. There we are. Put a little bit on there. Oops. <laughs> so, 
sometimes it goes a bit mad. So I think it's going to take a while for this to dry. It comes out quite quickly, that's the only thing I'm thinking at the moment. Um, let's have some pink. So I've already got a bit of pink on there, but I'm just going to just put a little bit of pink here. I'm afraid of squeezing too hard in case it shoots out. There we go, that's better. Here it comes. This one don't want to come out. I wonder if that one needs pricking. We won't use that one then, we'll try something else. What I was going to try was the silver. And just to see. Is that going to come out? There it is. comes out quite clumpy but it's quite nice. I'm not very good at art, I'll be honest. I have found that getting something like stickles it is really difficult in the UK. They all say they sell them but when you go in the shop you can't find them so I have to order them off Amazon and they only do them as like an add-on so you have to spend like 20 quid to be able to get them. So I got one and I like it, but I'm not going to. And I will probably order them as add-ons every time I do a big order, order one or two. But for four pound fifty, I think these are okay. So it's really awkward being left-handed sometimes, I tell you. So that's quite nice, actually. I quite like the way that that looks. Just uh, have a look. Yeah, that looks okay. So, yeah, so I got those as well. So I think they're going to be fun. I mean, I don't put a lot of glitter on everything. I'm not a glitter. Oh, I do love glittery, as you can tell from the nails, because I've got glittery nail polish on. Yeah. You can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm not really a glittery person generally. But some things you do want to put glitter on. I'm thinking I want a bit more. I want some green. Let's put some green glitter on here, actually. It does go over the lines a bit. It's not a very fine point. But I think that's going to be a bit practice, really, because I'm not... I mean, the thing is, it doesn't matter. It's all a bit fun. It's a little bit of green glitter on there. I'll just zoom that out so you can see that glitter there. So I've put a little strip of glitter on the table, I think. But I don't want to overdo it. I don't want it to be, like... Um, tons of glitter everywhere because you know that might not be good. So I'm still wondering why this pink one's not squeezing. So I'm just going to turn this sideways and I don't think it's me because I'm pushing that quite hard. I got a feeling this one needs piercing open. So I'm going to have a quick look. I'll take the top off. Let's have a look. I'll need to put a pin through that, I think. Here we go. Let's have a look. We've got a pair of scissors here, but they're quite big pairs. So I don't think they'll work. But we'll try. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to put a, a needle. And get it back on now. Through that one. It's not. I'll get it back on now. That's it. Um, yeah, that one's that one's blocked, so I'll need to put a needle in that. So there's not supposed to be blocked. But that's everything I've bought over the weekend. And there's, there's the stickles, stickles I got, which I've also used on this picture. I put them up on the top here. And I did quite like them. They, I think they're very nice. They're very easy to control. These little stickles. So, like I said, if I do a big order on Amazon, next time I do like a twenty pound order or order some colouring books, I will probably order some more of the single ones as add-ons. Um, so yeah, that's everything I have bought this week. 
colouring wise I know I will probably be getting colouring stuff um, for Easter because I said I, I've, I, I need to lose some weight because my blood pressure is horrendously well not horrendously high but it is it is high I'm having to monitor it at home before I go back to the doctors next week so I did say to my partner I don't want an Easter egg this year um, can you get me get me if you're gonna get me anything get me a coloring book and I know he's ordered me a pack of four coloring books by an artist named Gwen Davis which I'm really looking for she's a local artist who my partner actually went to school with I believe yes yeah, school so I'm looking really looking forward to, get, to getting those because I've seen them on our website and they look fantastic and I will be sure to show you to them next weekend show them to you next weekend if you want to see a flip through of any of these books, Mermaids, Angels, Bristol, Kaleidoscopes, or Under the Sea, obviously just leave me a comment down below and I will happily do that for you. Um, if you want to see how I've been working on the mermaid scales, again leave us a comment below because like I said they are taking me forever to do um, and I know I'm going to have the same problem because I'm going to probably do this sort of um, style. Um, for all the mermaid scales because they're so pretty um i do plan on buying the dewent mom oh can't think dewent metallic pencils <coughs> my friend bought them on the weekend she said they're absolutely fabulous they are water soluble as well so you can use them as paints you can use them as watercolors you don't have to use them as colored pencils you can use them as either and i will probably get them on the weekend from hobbycraft because hobbycraft have a club and if you're in the UK and you colour and you're not a member of the Hobbycraft Club, I will leave a link to the Hobbycraft website down below. Um, obviously, they're not sponsoring this or anything. It's just something I discovered this weekend when I went in. And if you join the Hobbycraft, the Hobbycraft Club, you get 15% off your next purchase. The voucher lasts for a month and it becomes valid from the day after you make your first purchase. So next week I should be going in Hobbycraft to use that up to get 15% off probably some Duent pencils. And you also get, if you go and register it online, a £5 voucher on your birthday. So I think in June I'll be going in Hobbycraft again. Well, I'll probably be going in there a lot. But so, yeah, so uh, yeah, the places I've bought stuff from this week are the works, uh, Hobbycraft, and Office Outlet. So, and obviously Amazon. That's it for me in my coloring. Like I said, leave a, any comments below if you want to see a flip through of any of the books. Please let me know. I'm quite happy to do that. Obviously, this is the first time I've done this setup. This is a long video, I know, but it is the first time that I've actually done this setup. So um, it's going to take some getting used to. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye now. I'm waving and you're not even seeing me. Bye now. <laughs>